Have you ever opened a truck and seen this? Or worse yet, have you received a truck back rejected from your customer that looks like this? These spelled loads can be costly and time consuming. And freight companies are just going to pick up the cost, right? Well, unfortunately, it may not be as easy to recoup these costs as you might think. I'm Allison Myers and welcome to Land Tech Now. Today we're going to discuss a forgotten piece of the load containment puzzle. The need to lock the load to the pallet, not only to hold the load together. I want to welcome Dan Hendren, Chief Engineer and part of Landtech's innovation team, to understand what's going on out there to give us some perspective of the cost involved. Dan, welcome. Thank you, Allison. Uh, you may be asking yourself what we mean by load containment, and that is to get the load from point A to point B in as-made condition. And what I mean by as-made condition is that the load arrives to your customer in the same condition as it did when it left the wrapping process. So what's going to cause my load from not getting from the point A to point B in the as-made condition? Well, if load containment's jeopardized, Allison, the load could shift, come off of the pallet, and depending on how it's loaded in the truck, could possibly fall over. And this is causing uh, product damage. So what happens with load failure? What are the costs involved with that? Allison, we had one customer that ships bottled water. Mm -hmm. They had a load failure and they estimated it cost them $4,500 just in this one case. Marketplace being as competitive as it is today, can our customers really afford these additional costs? That's a great point, Dan. Thank you very much. So how can you secure your load to the pallet and get it from point A to point B in as made condition? The answer? Pallet grip. Welcome Curtis Martin, top engineer and designer of Pallet Grip. So Curtis, what is Pallet Grip and how does it work? Well Allison, Pallet Grip is a patented device that forms a cable off the bottom edge of the film and applies it to the bottom edge of the pallet to the load, thus locking the load to the pallet. Let me show you what it looks like and how it works. Okay. As you can see here, there is a cable on the pallet just below the deck board. The pallet grip device rolls the bottom edge of the film up into this cable and then takes the remainder of the web and the cable and directs it down strategically right on the pallet and the load, thus locking the load to the pallet. Can I achieve the same result with any other kind of device? No, not very effectively. Pallet grip works uniquely in three different aspects. The first is we gather more film into our cable than traditionally just roping. Secondly, we can then direct that cable to the pallet in a way so that it still allows an area for the fork truck driver to pick up the load without damaging the film and thus compromising the containment. Thirdly, our device uses a technique that rolls the film up into a cable rather than just lifting the film up into a rope. A rope will eventually open up on the pallet and making it thus less effective. So it could slip. So what I'm hearing from you is it's unique in three ways. It's stronger because it can contain more film. It's also, it's all about the location and having the ability to place it. Right. And then lastly, it's also about not having it to come unraveled or to slip off and pallet grip really does secure the load to the pallet. Exactly. Have, have you ever done some testing on, on your pallet grip? Yes, we have. We've done testing both in-house on our shaker tables as well as in our customers' locations. And we have found that <laughs> shipping loads with pallet grip are much more successful than loads that are shipped without it. And in your testing, did you use various types of pallets and different types of loads? Yes, we did. So is pallet grip available on all your Q-series and S-series stretch wrap machines? Yes, it is. And it's patented by Lantech and it is only available on Lantech's equipment. Great. So if I'm looking to minimize my load failure and get it from point A to point B, I not only need to hold my load together, but I need to grip it and ship it with pallet grip? Absolutely. Thank you, Curtis. Now you know the forgotten piece of the load containment puzzle, locking your load to the pallet. For more innovative solutions like pallet grip, check us out at landtech.com.